Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're actually going to do the quilting on this top. I have most of the quilting completed already. Um, I just need to do these last four hexagons. So what I've got here is, remember we did the two inch hexagons? This is a one and a half inch. And I've got a piece of just regular chalk like we used in the previous video. And I'm just gonna mark around it with chalk. And that's actually gonna be my quilt line. I'm doing a big stitch on this because I wanna get it done quickly. I could do a smaller stitch, but it would take me much longer. So you can see I've done the outline with the chalk and I'm going to quilt on the inside of those lines. Um, you can see my stitches on the back. And since this is on the inside of the pillow, I'm not even trying to hide my knots. So for this, I'm coming up in the corner. You can see it's basted very well with all the pink basting stitches. This is my big stitch. The key to make this look good is just to be very consistent with the size of your stitches. I hope you guys can see this. I am doing orange thread on the orange hexi. And just go all the way around. And since these are such big stitches, I don't really need a thimble to push it through the fabric. It's actually pretty easy. But if it is bothering you, make sure you use a thimble. So we'll go around and get all of these stitches done. You can see I'm, I'm just doing the big stitch. I don't have this project in a hoop. It isn't that big. And I'm not worried about it getting out of shape because I do have it basted so well. So we could just keep going and going and going until that's done. Now, since it's chalk, I'll mark it. I'll quilt it and then I'll come and mark the next one because as you can see that chalk is going to wear away. Um, of course the back has all the other stitches on it. Once you get all the quilting done you're just going to go and remove these basting stitches and then you'll probably want to take a wet towel and just wipe off all the chalk. Well join me next time so we can move a little bit further along on this project I hope you're enjoying it so far. Please like and subscribe and find me on Facebook. Thanks so much and happy sewing.